Around and around the checkerboard we go as we look at the reflection or manifestation of the imagery created in the subconscious mind when meditating on the wormhole, ascension, or polarity motif. Space is the tomb in which music reverberates, and matter is comprised of the cymatic waves created in its symphony hall, the voidless ocean. In the film Dark City, tuning is a term which means an ET or AI ability to manipulate the physical universe via telepathy, basically altering the vibration of existence with one's own thought. Curiously, the exterior architecture of the World Trade Center buildings happened to be a three-pronged tuning fork design. And when the buildings were collapsed with ritualistic intent, the reverberation of that action tuned the population of Earth's consciousness in a new direction entirely. And although the magicians behind the event may have desired a different outcome, it has allowed the sequence of time-space to be viewed with more scrutiny. We now hold the cosmic keys that were once hidden from us. We now hold the magnifying lens or eagle eye that allows us to pierce the veil of linear thought and expose its infinite dimensions, a new language system of the cosmos being read for the first time. Clive Owen stars alongside the Eagle Eye herself, the Eye of Horus, Julianne Moore in Children of Men, as well as our Matrix Queen of Hearts, Monica Bellucci in the film Shoot 'Em Up. Owen resonates the White Rabbit as he's seen falling down the spiral checkered stairway and is constantly munching on carrots throughout the plot. Bellucci is of course the Heavenly Mother and Goddess, left hand of the Merovingian bloodline and seducer of the One, Neo, or Christ. Environmental destruction and divine punishment are considered as reasons for human infertility in Children of Men, which unfortunately resembles the illuminated plot to depopulize the world. A fiction which is applied as a means of assimilation to a waking life progression or idea, such as the E.T. phenomenon, have been occurring at a staggering pace as of late. Rosario Dawson, our alien queen from MIB, resonates Oz as Officer Zoe in Eagle Eye. Julian Moore voices the HAL 9000 resonating AI Aria in Eagle Eye. AI can synchronistically be interpreted as a singular self, which, along with Aria's lone glaring Eye of Horus, resonates unified and aligned consciousness. This eye is located at the heart of the Pentagon, one of the symbols charged with significance by the 9 11 mega ritual. As pointed out by Chris Knowles over at The Secret Sun, the Horus Eye was also seen at the Atlantis Hotel unveiling in Dubai, coupled with fireworks that could be seen from space. The center of the complex resembles the pineal gland or third eye, the dawn or awakening of spirit, the solar eye or floating capstone within, and the soaring eagle above. The all-seeing computer AI, Aria, uses cymatics just as Ben Affleck's character does in Daredevil to have sight beyond sight. This utilization of vibrations as a sort of mapping sonar is used by some predatory animals to capture their prey. Christian Bale and Lucius Fox also use this technology to capture the Joker or Fool in the Dark Knight. A mathematical formula is converted into symphonic melody for the purpose of bending space-time in the new sci-fi show Fringe. Alistair, it's working. Is it stable? Yeah, it's stable. Completely stable. Oh my god. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Alistair. Crowley? It's Crowley. <laughs> you know me. Always joking. I think, Mr. Crowley, it's time for a little field work. Creating uh -huh. personalized television viewing pleasure for Lucifer the Lightbringer, we see Eugene Levy as Crowley being zapped into the Stargate, symbol of unified and aligned consciousness in Stay Tuned. Jeffrey Jones, Satan's pit boss and Stay Tuned, stands next to the Eye of Saturn, the Luciferian window within the Pentagon, something we see our JC resonator Jim Carrey guarding very closely in Lemony Snicket's series of misfortunate events. He actually uses the Eagle Eye in his Dark Tower to burn down the Baudelaire Mansion in hopes of claiming their fortune, and also belongs to an Illuminati-like organization that uses the Spyglass as their coat of arms. Chris O'Donnell walks in front of the Eagle Eye on the top floor of the Acer building in the film Max Payne. The building is of course pyramid shaped just as the Illuminati complex is shown in Babylon AD. O'Donnell produced the film Y2K which starred A Clockwork Orange as Malcolm McDowell. He also produced a flick The Triangle and starred alongside Robin Tunney in Vertical Limit. All 1111, Crowley, Pyramid and thus Stargate resonating films. The Xbox game Dead Space features a demonic relic or monolith that is aesthetically shown as wrapped horns with sigils covering its entire surface. 
This same design is incorporated into the Bank Casino in Ocean's 13, which houses Lucifer himself and the Devil's Advocate, Al Pacino. The Rock, our pentagram arc jumper from Doom 3, which shares a similar premise to Dead Space, is Agent 23 in Get Smart. He plays a terrorist who places a bomb in the Disney Orchestra complex, which is timed to go off in correlation with a specific cinematic or musical sequence the band is scheduled to play. We're not being introduced to Horus as Oz resonating Zoe in Eagle Eye. Rosario Dawson opens the Stargate above Isis Liberty in Men in Black 2 with the help of World 2K. In I, Robot, James Cromwell, our JC Resonator, is the lead scientist who writes the three laws of modern robotics, and who also martyrs himself to save humanity. The head CEO Fat Cat of the corporation has three organized pyramids representing Giza sitting on his desk. Later, Will Y2K Smith destroys the hive mind or gateway to artificial consciousness, which sits atop rays of the octagon. The three major dragon axes or parameters of galactic alignment form the heavenly cube of space. We see Shia LaBeouf interact with a black arc or cube in Transformers, while in iRobot a dragon and checker chariot enters the star's profile during interaction with Black Star Will 2K. A diamond is used to find the gateway of inner illumination in the mummy, assassinate the president via cymatics in Eagle Eye, and has been uniquely used in the recent South Park election episode. The entire country is busy reacting to the election. We are about to pull off the greatest heist in human history. So, come on, enlighten us. What are we stealing this time? The Hope Diamond. In the film Transformers, which highlights the cube of space, I caught a subtle 9-11 sink as Anthony Anderson devours a tray of wormhole tour-shaped donuts. The clock on the wall behind him highlights the 9 and 11, respectively. Certainly not intentional, and maybe not relevant to some, but yet another display of the symphony tides of the universal language system developing slowly at first, and culminating with the ascension of mankind. The ritual of human sacrifice to appease the bloodthirsty Valkyries was undertaken during the 9-11 ritual and many other sites throughout the world and through history. So the masterminds of these events could prove they have no fear of God, no regard for morals, and to invoke their dark masters. These beings of the lightless dimension who have become immortal through technology or by other magical means proclaim themselves to be the highest form of consciousness, and have promised life extension and other technologies to the highest ranking Illuminati officials in return for the chaos they create on this planet. The only way you get to go to heaven is to die in violence. You die in your sleep, you go to hell. In Valkyrie, Tom Cruise is another singular eye Horus Resonator, associated with the galactic center as Black Star Swastika. Jim Carrey's lifeboat to the real world is tipped with an all-seeing eagle eye head, which eventually leads him to the ascension stairway of enlightenment. Mark Wahlberg stands inside the age-covered circle of power, or heliport, in Max Payne after ingesting a blue potion of the Blood Gods. He then commits the act of murder to close the magical portal. In Hellboy 2, the Golden Army, an ancient being with clairvoyant abilities, whom also has rows upon rows of eyeballs embedded into his wings, removes the Christ-like Spear of Destiny from Agent Hellboy's side. Forrest Whitaker commits suicide in a very similar circle of power in the film The Air I Breathe, featuring the hollow earth exploring Brendan Fraser. His role as an immortal Nephilim in Hancock was simply saturated with eagle eye symbolism. Here's one I highlighted of him sitting on a bench that reads, Find Your Dream Job. And tying in the Julianne Moore all-seeing AI sync with ET consciousness, we see her in the film The Forgotten, the plot of which revolves around an extraterrestrial intelligence that removes memories of having children from parents, in order to test if there is more to human interconnectivity than brain impulses alone. This is of course very similar to the flash device used by Will Smith to wipe memories clean in Men in Black. To close, we see an ET creator god from Dark City walk towards Kiefer Sutherland in an Aquarian pool with the motif of galactic center on the ceiling and a clock on the wall with both of its hands fixed on 11, making another 1111 or K2 Crowleyan circle of power in congruence with the stairway to enlightenment.